Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Vermin Supreme in his boot in frame. We are at the Unconvention in Omaha, Nebraska. Yes, and it was a very pleasant surprise to know that Vermin was going to be here. And an even more pleasant surprise to know that he is also running for president in 2020. Mr. Supreme, has your agenda yes. evolved at all over the years? Um, well, it has an amazing consistency that the people seem to really enjoy. Sure, there's a lot of occasional blips, uh, interstate roller coasters, and things of this nature, but primarily it's always been about the four basic planks of free ponies, uh, zombie power, uh, mandatory toothbrushing laws, and uh, the other one, the, the, the time travel one. And uh, of course, these are very important issues. You have to go back in time and kill Hitler. Uh, at least. I mean, there's, there's a lot of tyrants we want to take out, for sure. I, you know, we're going to take out baby ISIS, uh, baby Stalin, all of them. Don't you fret. No gulags for you, baby. I'm even going to get baby Pinochet. There are no helicopters. We don't need no helicopters for the roads because you don't need helicopters. Uh, when you have roads, what? Wait, 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 what were we talking about? I'm sorry. So, are, are these ideas whose time has come? Are the American people really ready for this kind of radical change? Certainly. Uh, they have certainly taken on, on a certain life of their own. Uh, they have certainly resonated with a large segment and portion of, of the uh, American public. Uh, these are issues that people want to pretend are real. These are issues that people really want to stand behind and be a part of. Yes, it is a revolution. Uh, 2020 is going to be the year, and I believe that I have a much greater opportunity uh, this time than any other time. Um, obviously, I paved the way for Trump's uh, ultimate election, I think. Uh, there has been a slight uh, rip in the time-space continuum. Let me assure you that I have very smart people in the past, the present, and the future working on this. Some of them are even scientists, and I am quite confident that we will repair this tear, and we will return to a supreme presidency very shortly. I apologize for the inconvenience in the meantime, of course, but we're doing what we can do. And uh, yes, 2020 is going to be bigger, better. Um, one of my main goals, of course, is uh, achieving federal election matching funds. Uh, it's a low-hanging fruit. I believe it is a completely uh, doable project. If one, uh, meaning me, or pro even you, uh, could raise $5,000 in each of 20 states, then the Federal Election Commission will match that money dollar for dollar. Now, I also like to point out that it's not theft money. It's not tax money per se. Granted, people are checking off the box on their theft tax forms. However, the money is essentially clean. And I think semantics are always very important when you're doing uh, mental gymnastic and acrobatics. And so for this one, I, I, I think it's totally clear. Libertarians cannot say I'm taking uh, theft money at all. No, no, it's not tax money. And so um, once again, if I'm able to achieve this, and I, I have every reason to believe that I'll be able to put together the state coordinating committees and the, uh, the fundraising necessary, because you break it down, all I got to do is find 50 people in each state to uh, give me 100 bucks and uh, do that 20 times. I think it's doable, and it will give me uh, the largest budget that I've ever uh, dreamed of. It would be, uh, my blimp is going to be so much bigger than Ron Paul's blimp. Uh, I, it's going to be amazing. All right, well, speaking of dirty money and mental gymnastics, in, in 2016, uh, some revelations came out about your ties to the pony lobby. Uh, how do you think oh, that's going to affect you yeah, going? Uh, how do you, how, how do you think that's going to affect you going into 2020? And how do you do you address these concerns uh, about corruption and, and being in the pocket of the pony lobby? Yeah, yeah, they they say that, but they're lies, lies, nothing but dirty damn lies. I'm the Teflon candidate. My boot is made of Teflon, lined with tin foil, and uh, no shit's going to stick to me, especially no pony shit. If you know what I'm saying, um, yeah. Now, I have to say, one of, the, one of the things that I'm really scared about going up against Vermin Supreme here is that he has a lot more ties than I do and is better at wearing them all at once. Is there something, is this, is this like a, a symbol of authority or are they all just, we, each one has a different well, meaning, I right? Will to say on the campaign, trip, during the primaries, I was telling people that each tie represented one of my opponents and each time I beat one of my <laughs> opponents, I would remove a tie. And when I had one tie left, I was the president. Um, so yes, I think ties are all about uh, rank, and obviously, uh, well, uh, looks like you've beat up a lot of dentists here. Well, yes, I've got the the dental themes going on. Uh, I've got the dental enforcement handcuff uh, necktie here, um, and of course the lucky bling tie. Uh, if you uh, rub your screen right now with that dollar sign, it will bring you good good <laughs> luck and prosperity. 
Um, but let's talk about right now. When's this thing going to air? Whenever I feel like it. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I have time-sensitive matters that I need to discuss. I, I don't know. I mean... Uh, when would you like it to air? Well, my, my deadline is June 1st. Uh, Last year? Of this year. Oh. I mean, we, we can travel, but I, I know it's a week away, but I have seven days to raise $700. I am... Well, uh, we, we can get this out Monday for you. Okay. All right. This is the deal. This is the deal. Perhaps you saw it on your Facebook news stream, but in the state of Kansas... Well, you're still on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's the other one? Uh, Diaspora? Or Steam it now. Steam it now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a scam, I hear. But in any case, um, it, where was I? Oh, geez. A, a thing came across. News. You, you, at, that in the state of Kansas, half a dozen high school students are running for governor. And uh, because there's no rules, there's no regulations, the state of Kansas has no ballot uh, access laws to keep you away. And um, so that's a wonderful thing. Uh, they do have to pay, I think, uh, $2,200 uh, for the filing fee. And so I looked at that race and I just sort of ja in jest said, oh, I'm running too. Um, but, um, and I was hoping it was just a joke. But at this point in this time, um, I have several uh, people working on my campaign in earnest, and uh, they have pressured me to bring it into real world. Now, of course, my campaign on the pretend level, I mean, it's cake. There's nothing to it. I mean, it, it's wildly successful. It perpetuates itself. It's, it's a, a meme machine, if you will. And uh, it's constantly being replenished. Uh, high school teachers, for example, teach me uh, as an end to the whole electoral process. Every four years, I, I'm getting all these young fans, and then they grow older. They become voters, and then they become college students and, and this. Um, so it, it's a very interesting audience that it's constantly uh, coming my way. And so I didn't want to step on their toes. You know, I, I, I didn't want to be running against them. And so I, I took it. Think about the children. Exactly. The children are the future. See in the future, kids. And um, so I, I looked at the ballot. And, and of course, it was crowded. And I, w I wanted to make a bang. So I, I looked down ballot and saw that the attorney uh, general slot was wide open. And uh, so, um, if I'm able to hit the $1,600 mark by June 1st, one week away, and more than halfway there, we have uh, 900 of the $1,600, um, I could quite conceivably be an unopposed Democratic primary ticket up against Derek Schmidt, the Republican uh, <laughs> incumbent. Now, Derek Schmidt, the Republican incumbent, my, my esteemed uh, opponent, has recently uh, jammed in some sort of paperwork in order to try and prevent out-of-staters for getting on the governor's ballot. But he neglected to include his own office. So right now, I'm still clear. So. Fingers crossed, and with the help of you and your viewers, because, Adam, I know I can count on you, sir, for a $100 contribution to this uh, most important race. Am I right, sir? You take Bitcoin? Of course I do. Then we're, then we're good, absolutely. No, this, is, this is something for him to have fun with from now until November, because unopposed, he's running against the Republican all yeah, the way through. But I, I want to I ask a... a, a a serious question. Okay. Very serious question. Uh, if if you don't win in, in 2020 okay. and okay. you have to run again, right? Well, if you have to run again, you know, I mean, sometimes you might you might, might be the third try, right? Uh, 16 was your first. Um, well, I've been had you run before 16. Since uh, 1992, at least. So I don't know. I guess this would make it seventh or eighth time. But if 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 you need one more, uh, well, this is my prediction, Adam. Uh, America stock, some will argue, is sort of slowly on the decline. My own stock, uh, as is evidenced, is uh, slowly rising. I predict that the two will cross in 2036. That is when I will be in the White House. Until then, I'm just placeholding. I'm biding my time. I'm, uh, I'm building. Well, unless I have anything to say about it, the White House is a museum by then, but to the more immediate impact of your okay, campaign. Maybe in your time stream. <laughs> All right, so if, it, 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 in this dimension, yeah, um, okay. let, let's, let's just say, let, yeah, let's just say in, uh, in, in, you don't win in 2020 and, you, and you're working to, s and, and, and you're working oh, to yeah. set yourself up. I don't get reelected, you mean? Right, okay, so if you're, if you're working to set yourself up for 24, 
what is the lasting socio-cultural impact of your campaign that you're hoping to have that needs to happen to set you up for victory later? Huh, that's a really tricky question. And I'm very glad that you asked it. And I think I will stall for a few moments just by running my mouth off uh, while I consider the answer. And hopefully in the meantime, the audience will have actually... Did I mention he has lots of ties? ...of the question itself. So uh, what, is, uh, what is the setup for the next campaign? Well, what is the impact that you hope to have from this campaign? Well, I, I think the impact uh, is an ongoing impact. I believe it's a rolling impact. I, I believe it's a building impact. Uh, I believe um, I have become, once again, more wildly successful than perhaps uh, anyone, especially myself, would have, would have ever imagined. And that is, of course, um, by defining success on one's own terms. What is success? And by fiddling with the answer, uh, you too can achieve success. I, I think uh, one of the most important things uh, that the takeaway from my campaign is lack of fucks. Um, the, the amount of fucks that one gives uh, is proportionate to how much people appreciate the effort. And I have been able to uh, shed so many fucks to give uh, in terms of the way that I interact with various politicians and uh, police entities uh, and voters um, that people have a real respect. They understand uh, that, uh, that I'm softening the ground up. I softened it up for Trump. And now I'm softening up for you. America doesn't need a president, but if we're going to have one, we could not do any worse than Vermin Supreme, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have a website you want to plug, sir? Um, yeah, sort of, sure. It's, it's uh, vermintsupreme.com. I, I don't think there's anything up there right now. Um, but there will be. There totally will be. And uh, it's going to be great. And uh, together, we will ride our ponies into a zombie powered future friends let me assure you that thank you i'm vermin supreme president of america and don't you forget it thank you and we approve this message but hold on what your your fundraiser for uh kansas K oh, PayPal. attorney general okay, once again we're a 527 uh we are called pony up america and uh, the PayPal address is uh, PonyUpAmerica at uh, gmail.com. And uh, the Bitcoin uh, number, I can, uh, uh, you can add the link. XJC, no, no, no. all right, forget it. We'll just, we'll, just put it. we'll just put it in the notes. Because I, I do sing it. It's, it's, it's a nice little song. Um, of course, I can't say the uh, lowercase, uppercase because it sort of uh, it messes with the rhythm. But I can definitely sing all the numbers and, word and, and letters. You're and do it now. Uh, I gotta go get my foot. Can you put? Hold on. Put, put pause that for a sec. Let me go run and go get it so I can. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> you didn't pause it, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> Good comedy so far this evening. I, I'm really looking forward to hearing him sing a Bitcoin wallet address. It might be a joke. He might have just run off, and I'm going to be here for like the next half hour. Oh, no, he's back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. So if you <laughs> show, show people what you're reading. This. Okay. Yeah, because I, apparently the, the uppercase and lowercase are sort of important. But like I say, they break up the rhythm. So once again, Vermin Supreme for Kansas City Attorney General. The Bitcoin address is 3-H-Y-B-F-8-I-E-F-Q-G-H-F-N-1-D-I-S-X-H-7-U-L-L-Z-Y-C-T-W-Z-X-V-N. And you'll have to like uh, figure out the lower and upper cases, but that's it. Thank you. I think that's the worst jingle I've ever heard, but it's better than listening to a politician. Thanks, brother. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. 
Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.